Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing good. This is Eben and Falling back at it again with another how to tech video. In this one we are going to be going over how to wipe a disk using CMD command. Alright, let's get to it. First, go ahead and it's going to find CMD command prompt and we're going to make sure that we run as administrator right here. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now we got that. Next is we're going to be choosing disk part. One, this all one word. I will be providing all these commands in the description below. All right. Awesome. We are in disk part. So next we're going to use list disk, which will show every all the drives inside this PC right now, both external and internal connected. All right, so so far I got disk zero, one, two, three. The one we're going to be wiping today is disk three, which is in this case just an external SD micro SD card. But in many cases you got you guys are probably going to be using this to wipe uh, like your an extra an, uh, an old hard drive or something like that that you want to reuse but okay but first you know you, know, you got to make sure which which disk you're going to delete if you're going to delete so you got to be careful about that because if you choose the wrong one yeah that's pretty this it's pretty much no way to get it back but all right so one way to see which disk is the one that we're going to be needing is to we could go to windows and you can look, you just type in disk, disk create and format disk partitions right here. You can go there. And over here, it will show you all all the device, all the disk connected here, connected. So, okay. All right. So from here you can look at look through look through it. For me, the one I'm the one I'm using is the removable disk, which is you know it's not inside my PC, so I know it's going to be this one. All right, and by the way, you can you guys can also do it. Just right click it and delete volume this way. But if your disk has like a bunch of partitions, like like this, for example, that's going to be a pain. And some of these special Windows files, like this um, year file system partitions, if you notice, you can't actually delete it manually. So in order to delete those, you're going to have to follow this step with the CMD also. All right. So I'm, I'm just going to verify. Yep, I want to disk. I want to delete it, this three. So I'm going to be using the command select. And I'm going to be choosing disk 3 all right now this 3 is, is selected and now the so next step is going to be going to type him in the command clean and once you type this in and hit enter it's going to completely wipe the drive so if you if so let's say if you have a whole old hard drive and you're trying to sell it in that case, I would use the command clean all, which is a longer process, but it's basically going to clean your hard drive and it's going to overwrite onto it. So it's going to make your data much harder to recover. But in this case, I'm just going to use a clean command, which if you're just using the disk yourself, which should be more than enough. So I'm just going to hit clean. Just succeeded in cleaning, that, cleaning the disk. So now, if I go back to disk management, boom, you see that? It is completely black. That means this, there is no data in there. So if I do it to like File Explorer, and if I go to this PC, it's not even actually fully showing up. So it's supposed to be right here. Oh. See, please insert disk into that. So what we need, what we need to do to make this disk even usable, is we gotta format it. 
to the format is pretty simple. You're just going to right click this. New simple volume. Give it a second. My thing is glitching up for some reason. I'm going to pause this. Sorry about that. It was acting glitchy earlier for some reason, but this is what's supposed to happen. When you right click, new symbol volume. Okay. For some reason, it doesn't seem like it's doesn't like me when we're like me streaming, but yeah. So basically, you're going to get when you click that, something like this will pop up, and you're going to hit next, next. Assign a letter. It's fine. Next. All right. So now here's our options. We got file system. We got NTF or XFAT. So if you have a device that's Windows 10 or newer, then NTF is, is the best option because NTF is newer and uh, it has a few few other advantages. Or if you're or if you have an older device like Windows 7 or something like that, you're gonna have to use XFAT. Like Windows 7 doesn't even not even recognize XFAT devices. So in this case, um, I'm going to use NTFS. Good format, hit next, finish. Awesome, see, now I recognized it. Now, if I go to File Explorer, voila, we got our file, we got our clean hard drive. Now we can put whatever we want in here. New folder. Ta -da. and that's it if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a like and just like and subscribe and whatnot all right thanks for watching peace out